Lisa Familio considers herself a safe driver. Monday morning, she was driving by Natomas High School. I saw a white car come out of the left, this housing development there, and he was going all the different lanes. She was heading over the Truxel Road Bridge to get onto I-80 westbound, keeping a close eye on the erratic driver. And just as the light changes, I hear a big bang and I get pushed. He hit me. Lisa says they both got out of their cars. While we were standing out, their cars are going by honking at us, so he points like to move off the main uh, lane. She pulled over. Uh, I couldn't believe he was driving off. Lisa was livid. Oh, well, there goes my day. But she had an inkling she'd see the driver again. Oh, I was going to go looking for him. She didn't have to wait long. Yeah, I found you. Lisa saw the same car a few hours later near the same intersection. He got out to go to the store, so I jumped out and took a couple pictures. Her suspicions were confirmed after seeing the front end damage to his car and his face. But when he got out, I looked at him. I'm like, oh, yeah, that's him. She says he returned from the store, but he didn't get back in the driver's seat. He got in the back seat with a blanket, obviously to go to sleep. Lisa called police and waited a couple hours for them to arrive. And when they did, he couldn't stand. Two officers had to kind of hold him up. This person was intoxicated. He was arrested for being under the influence. But because he wasn't driving at the time officers arrived, he was not charged with DUI. You should be cautious about following somebody that you don't know um, because you don't know what sort of circumstances you might find yourself getting into. That. Lisa hopes her story encourages drivers to do more. Please, when you see somebody driving erratically, call it in. You know, what if you don't call it in and then a block later they hit somebody and kill them and hopes this serves as a lesson too. You'll get caught eventually, if not today, tomorrow. The truth always comes out. In Sacramento, Dana Griffin, KCRA 3 News.